Hi, it's Debbie here. So today I wanted to show you how to um, delete things out of Lightroom, what's safe to delete. If you're finding that your memory is struggling or your storage on your computer is struggling, then it's good to know um, how to do basic housekeeping on your Lightroom so that you don't kind of run out of space. So the first thing you need to do is then open Lightroom and find where your catalog and all the information is stored. And you can do that by going to edit and catalog settings. So you can click on that and then here, it's gonna show you the location. So this file um, path here is your location of this Lightroom catalog. Uh, this is the catalog that's open um, and you can click on the little show button and that's gonna open the folder on your computer. So you'll find probably that if you click back one level, most of your Lightroom catalogs will be stored in here if you use multiple catalogs. Um, you can do that. So if you go into your current catalog, then these are the files that you'll typically see. What I would then do at this point is to go back into Lightroom and just close it down. And then you, you'll see those temporary files will disappear and um, they're only there when it's open. So you should see um, a helper folder, a previews folder, a smart previews folder, your backups folder, if you have Lightroom set to backup, which you should, and then your actual catalog itself. So the catalog is a file type of, if I just show you the details of this one. So it's, um, the file type is an LRCAT file. So the catalog itself, you never want to delete. So this one here, the Adobe catalog, if we just open this out, um, this is your catalog file here. So you've obviously, that'll be named however you've named it. And it's a .LRCAT file. So you don't ever want to delete those ones. Um, with your backups, if you, it depends how often that you back up. So I back up Lightroom every time it exits. Um, some people do once a week, it's entirely up to you. It's whatever your process is, but you can go into your backups folder and you'll see them in uh, the kind of date modified order. So I can see the most current one is this one from the 11th. So I can just delete out all the previous ones, that's fine. So I tend to just um, highlight all of those and I'll delete those out and just periodically delete those out, especially because I back up every time I exit. So. Um, I do tend to go in and delete those out. So it's fine to delete out old backups if you want to. So we'll go back into the catalog here. Um, your helper file, this one is just a database file. So you should keep that and not delete that one out. The previews file then, if you go into that, what you will see is there's this previews database file, a root pixels database file, and those two you leave and I don't delete those out. But these ones that are in folders above are any previews that have been built. So essentially when you load your images into Lightroom, when you import your images in, at that point it creates previews. So it shows you the image on the screen. Every time you kind of click to zoom in one-to-one, -one, it will create a preview of that as well. And it's all just, it's creating a preview file. So it's quicker for Lightroom when you're editing your photos to see those things. If you were to go back to that photo, zoom in again, it's gonna show you that instantly on the screen. So it builds a preview for everything in that way. Um, but you don't need to keep those. It's fine to delete those out as well. So once you've kind of, if you do get into a good housekeeping routine every maybe, I don't know, four, four to six months say, um, then it's good you can come in and delete out your previews. So again, you can just highlight these folders and delete them out, leaving the two database files in there. Um, and then smart previews, if you use smart previews on Lightroom, so when you're importing in, there is a tick but like a checkbox to also build smart previews. And what they do is that means you can, if you have got your images stored on an external hard drive and you import them into Lightroom, you can tick to also build smart previews on import. And that means you can disconnect your hard drive, but still continue to edit those photos without having the hard drive connected. Um, but to build those smart previews, obviously use it. That is quite a lot of data to for Lightroom to build and store. Um, and then if you do that for all of your galleries, when you're importing images, that's obviously quite a lot of information that it stores ongoing. So if you are finished with that gallery and you've delivered it, then you can come in and delete out the smart previews for that gallery as well. Um, and you can delete out any historical smart previews again by, so these are actually deleted out. I haven't got any current ones. Um, but again, it would be the same process as the previews folder. So you would keep the database files, but you can delete out anything that's in the folders above it. Um, when you go into uh, 
I'll actually show you in Lightroom a good habit to get into if you do build smart previews then is when you are finished with your gallery. So I'm just gonna, this is just a couple of example photos I've imported in, but let's go ahead and, um, yeah, I'm gonna go into the, let's go into the library module and I'm just gonna highlight these three photos. Then you can come up to here into library and previews. And I'm just gonna build smart previews just to show you what they'll look like when they exist. So it's going to go ahead and build smart previews for these three photos. So I could now disconnect my hard drive and then continue editing them. Um, and then in our Lightroom folder, you'll see that this smart previews folder now has these three um, folders inside it. So a good habit to get into then is once you're finished editing your gallery and you've finished and exported, then a part of your Lightroom process can be to delete out those smart previews. So you can just be in your library module, you can highlight all of the photos in this gallery and you can come up to library, down to previews and you can discard those smart previews once you're finished with that gallery. It's gonna ask you if you want to discard them for all the highlighted photos and I can go ahead and say discard. And that's quite a good process to get into to build into your workflow and um, because it's the smart previews that tend to take up a ton of space as well so it is good to delete those out periodically and so if i close out lightroom now i'm just going to skip backing up and i'm back in the smart previews folder you can see they're now gone because i discarded them out at the end another thing that i wanted to show you if you've been struggling with space issues then is if you have been importing images to lightroom directly from your memory cards um, then in that import process, so when you click import, I'm just going to select a memory card that I've plugged in um, and I'm just going to select a couple of random photos. Um, if you've been importing directly from your memory card, then just to make sure that you haven't been double, it, double copying, so these settings, it's set here to copy, so it's going to copy photos to a new location and add them to the catalogue. Um, then the mistake that some people make is they also click this, um, because they think this is what they have to do to make a second copy and then they select a folder here. But if you actually scroll down, this destination is telling you where it's going to make that copy on your hard drive. And then what you end up doing is if you tick this here, is you're importing the photos to Lightroom, you're also copying them to this destination here and you're making a second copy of them to this destination here. And you can end up copying the images onto your computer's hard drive twice. So it's really important, um, again, I'll just reiterate that I wouldn't import directly from your memory card anyway. And the reason why is because importing the entirety of your memory card into Lightroom is just importing so much data, so many photos, and then culling through images in Lightroom can be really time consuming. So I always recommend taking your memory card and importing your photos into your hard drive culling through your images in Adobe Bridge or something similar. Adobe Bridge comes free with your Creative Cloud membership, so that's a really good one. It's really fast to go through, flag your images, and then just um, copy the ones that you want into a selected images folder, and then from your hard drive, import those images into Lightroom. Um, and that's also gonna save a lot of these space issues um, because you only import in a minimal number of photos rather than the entirety of your memory card. So yeah, if you have been importing from directly from your memory card, just to make sure that you haven't also been making a second imported copy, um, because that will obviously take up a ton of space on your computer's hard drive. And then I guess it's just a case of checking um, where these locations are that you've been primarily importing to, and just to see if you haven't got duplicate copies in two locations on your computer. So it's probably a good housekeeping exercise as well to go through your computer and just see what you have got stored on it um, and to maybe move those things onto external hard drives as well because that will speed up your internal memory anyway.